Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Hu Hu. I believe many people have such confusion about video editing. The CPU and the graphics card, which one is more important? Which one should I spend more money on? So today, let's have small test. I will use Final Cut Pro for today's test. I have never used Premiere before, but I think the basic principle will not be too different. My computer is MacBook Pro 2018 15-inch base model. The configuration is i7 16GB memory, 555X graphics card. First of all, let me tell you how I will test. I made some video clips especially, some ordinary clips, some reverse accelerated and slow motion clips. Some clips added color correction or effects, and then there are multi-tracks, etc. You know that Final Cut Pro supports background rendering. I turned off this option and then made these clips. You can find that there are a lot of small white dots above the timeline, which means that this clip has not been rendered yet. After rendering, the dots will disappear. So when I turn on the background rendering, observe the disappearance of these dots, you can know which clip is being rendered now. At the same time, observe the CPU and graphics card usage. These three are the activity monitor. This is the current CPU usage. This is the history of graphics card usage. It will move to the left with time. The upper side is the discrete graphics card, and the lower side is the core graphics card. And this is the history of CPU usage, also moving to the left. Okay, let's turn on this background rendering and then start testing. The first clip is slow motion. You can see that the CPU usage is relatively high, and the graphics card is almost not working. When the dots move to the second video clip, which added a lot of color correction and effects, you can see that the CPU usage except for one core has dropped. The usage of graphics card has gone up. The third part is transition, and the situation hasn't changed much. The fourth part is many of 3D subtitles. You can find that the graphics card usage is still very high, and the CPU usage is very low. Then here is still slow motion, then reverse, then accelerated clips. You can find that in these four clips, the graphics card is hardly working, mainly rely on the CPU. For multi-tracks, the usage of graphics cards goes up again. The CPU usage has dropped, and only one core is relatively high. The others are relatively low. For these test results, I'm worried that maybe the CPU and the graphics cards work in turn, and the different order may have different results. Then, for further testing and verification, I made some other clips, adjusted the order, and this time the clips are more focused. For example, the first clip here, I added 5 color corrections, no other effects, no subtitles, and no pictures. As you can see, the CPU usage is almost full, and the graphics card is also very high. The second part, still slow motion, you can see that the CPU usage has dropped to half, and the graphics card hardly works. The result is basically the same as the previous test. In the third part, I added 5 effects such as shape mask, the spot, etc. But no color correction. At this time, the usage rate of graphics card is going up very quickly, and the CPU usage is down. There is one core higher and the other lower. These clips still reverse the accelerated clips, etc. Still about half of the CPU usage and the graphics card hardly works. The last, the multi-tracks. This time all the clips didn't add any effect. High graphics card and low CPU usage. Finally, I have to tell you that such a test method is not very rigorous, but I don't have a lot of different configurations of computers to do a lot of comparison tests. So today's test results are for reference only. At least we can know that for video editing, both CPU and graphics cards are important. Their work has some rules. Some work is done by the CPU, and some work is done by the graphics card. Through today's test, we can draw following conclusions. First, the basic operations, slow motion, reverse, accelerated, 
etc. rely on the CPU. Second, effects, 3D subtitles, etc. rely on the graphics card. Third, color correction and multi-tracks operation, etc. The CPU and the graphics card are all useful. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I'll do further testing in the future. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.